Hello and welcome to the Mindset Alchemy podcast. I'm Janine, your host, and as a psychic success catalyst, I love helping you to work with what is aligned, what isn't aligned, and to understand what you really are creating. It makes life so much more interesting and easeful. Now, what is the reason we would like to have ease? Does it mean it makes things easy? No, not really. What it means is it takes what could be hard, what could where there could be resistance, and allows us to see this, overcome this, and move forward from it, which then brings ease into our life. How does it get any better than this? The bottom line is, I don't know about you, I grew up with you have to work hard, you have to hustle, you have to constantly be busy, 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 or else you're never going to be successful. Well, people, while I was always working hard, while I was always busy, 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 I didn't receive the income I desired, nor did I get the results I was looking for. When I stepped back and looked at what do I truly desire? What are the feelings I would like to have? What am I looking to actualize? And what does success feel like and look like for me that I was able to create it, allow it and receive it? I've been able to do the same thing with my clients. We look at, well, what does success truly look and feel like for you? Is it maybe being able to sleep late? Is it receiving a consistent income? Is it doing less and earning more? Is it releasing being busy and rather being effective? Success for some people can be just being able to get out of bed in the morning. For others, it might be seeing their child take the first step. Whatever it is for you, what does it feel like right now? If you had to think of it, I know for myself, I had to sit down and have a good hard look at what does success feel like for me? Where can I, where have I had that feeling before? And what would, it, what can I do to help create it? And it's in this that I've really been able to help my, my clients my pro, in my programs and where I'm helping people and teaching them and coaching them and helping them heal. One thing about being a healer, everybody says, oh, are you going to heal me? No, I am going to hold space and be the catalyst for you healing you. You get to choose it. The same as success. I can't do it for you. What I can do is I help you recognize it because this is what I know I had to do, was recognize what it is for me. What is the adventure in life that you truly are looking to have? What does it feel like and who would you like to take the adventure with? Yourself, with other people? What would the situations look like? Many times in life, lessons can be adventures and adventures can be lessons. And when, it's, when we sit with it and we become really aware of what we are creating and what we, awareness we would like to create, that we have a far better understanding of, hmm, well, I'll have to transform my thinking in this area. I'll have to transmute my emotions and my archetypes from one thing to another thing, from victim into expansiveness, into creator, from indifference into love. And this is where we get to understand how we alchemize our lives. We alchemize it through having the idea and understanding of what it is we are truly looking to transform. Because this leads us to where are you being asked to know what's going on at a much deeper intuitive level? What exactly are you choosing when you speak? Are you choosing life or are you choosing decay? Are you choosing expansion and creation or are you literally choosing to shoot yourself in the foot and glue yourself with super glue to your seat? It's when we are able to do this that we get to understand what it is we're creating. We set the intentions around it. For example, I set the intention that I would like to have a certain amount of income per month. And instead of saying, well, I will only have it through this way or only through that way, I sat down and I asked, well, what are the infinite possibilities? And as I do that, I have program ideas, I have self-study ideas, program ideas, 
I, my, that's how my membership program was born, was what are the infinite possibilities? What are the different ways that I haven't thought of that if I think of them, will bring it forward? As we get curious, as we tap into our intuition and use our awareness facilities, we are able to understand at a much deeper level what is not, not knocking on our door, that we go, no, 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 you don't look like what I thought you would look like, and you don't let it in, where if you let it in, would actually create far, far more than you would ever anticipate or expect. That has been my experience, that when I stopped prescribing and being attached to what it should look like, wow, so much bigger stuff comes forward. I've seen this in my life, that of my husband, my children, and my clients. And my clients get this, wow, I never expected that. Exactly. Don't expect. Set the intention. Choose what you are aware of. Look and see where you are, should transform. And understand what the success is that you're truly, truly looking for. Let me know in the, in the comments um, if you can. Otherwise, come and find me on social media. What comes forward for you? If you'd like to invite me to work with you, pop me an email via my website. The links will be in the bio. And the most important thing is be aware of your thoughts today. Be aware of your feelings. And go and explore what success looks and feels like for you because this is going to give you a much better understanding of what is asking to be transformed in your life, your emotions, your thinking, your relationships, and across the board. And it does take effort. It does take understanding. And the most important thing it takes is a decision along with action. Have a wonderful and incredible day. Chat soon. Bye-bye.